Hey everybody, it is Monday, September 27th, 2021, and welcome to Puzzle With Me. My name is Lawrence. Today I'm going to try my best to solve, as fast as I can, the New York Times puzzle. This is by Zachary David Levy. I almost uh, tripped up when I saw that name because uh, Zachary Levi is an actor who played Shazam or Chuck, uh, but this is not that. This is Zachary David Levy, not Levi. Uh, but anyways, um, hi, I'm a bit tired today. I seriously just woke up from a nap and now it's 9 PM. And so I am a bit out of it right now. So I don't know if I'm going to set my record, but I'm going to see how well I can do. Uh, my record is, I believe four minutes and two seconds for, uh, to solve the Monday crossword. Let's see if I can break it. Uh, once I open up the puzzle, I'm going to kind of just stop talking and solve uh, until either I go over that four minutes and two seconds time or I get tripped up somewhere. Uh, but if you want to follow along, you'll see the clue that I'm looking at and processing highlighted in blue to the left of the grid. And away we go.
Okay, well, uh, I have passed my, uh, what is this? I strain E, E, okay, guaranteed or where you can find the ends. Vault, teller, savings, it's a bank. Uh, rocks and a drink is ice. Sick, ill, uh, Neo in the bank. News. Okay, so. It's a bad luck. A leer. Taster touches a sense. Load. Uh, what is that? Ochre? Treated maliciously. Bited. Deposit. Uh, bottle deposit. Is this Aggies? I don't know my college teams. Oh, nut tree. Innes. Yeah, okay. River of forgetfulness, I don't know. Completely fail. Uh, Steph Curry, obsess, eat it. There we go, 601, hey, pretty good, 601, I'll take it. It went pretty well at the beginning, I thought there was a chance, uh, when I got about halfway through, I thought there was a chance I might be able to um, break my record, but then it slowed down quite a bit. But still, um, very straightforward Monday theme. It's nice. It's it's cool. It's fine. Um, I like that all of these things that are being referenced are just very different phrases, very referencing very different things that don't have anything to do with, um, you know, banks or or uh, each other really. So that's kind of nice. That like the final thing in the bank ties them all ties together all of these phrases that are from wildly different things that's really nice you know uh one that's referring to you know people's names uh one that's a sport daylight savings you know referring to time um and then bottle deposit the added cost of buying soda i did not know that that was a term for the added cost of buying soda bottle deposit that's um that's new to me um i always like i would i was thinking of a bottle deposit as like a place where you would drop bottles to be recycled. Um, but that's cool. I would say of all of them, this might be the one that is closest to the actual meaning of deposit in referring to a bank. Whereas like daylight savings, the savings of a bank has nothing to do with the savings of daylight savings. Like they're completely different meanings of the word. Same with teller and same with vault from pole vault. Um, you know, vault in a bank is very different from vaulting and pole vaulting. Um, that's like jumping, you know? So like, I like that they're, they're very different meanings. And this one, I feel like, unless I'm, I'm wrong and I could be because I wasn't super familiar with this phrase, but I feel like because it's talking about costs, I feel like the added cost of buying soda, the deposit from that phrase is probably either very close or at least similar to um, the deposit, meaning that you would use at a bank for depositing money. But I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, anyways, um, all, all of that is to just to say like, out of these four themed entries, deposit is my least favorite maybe but I think they all still work pretty well and I think it's a cool it's a good theme um I like that um each as in the price of balloons like you don't get a lot of wordplay in Monday puzzles very much because it's meant to be easy and so wordplay definitely like ups the difficulty a little bit but I like this little um fun bit of wordplay here a pop as in the price of balloons <laughs> um and then uh, the rest of the stuff, 
is pretty good. Like, there's a Bob Marley reference. There's, you know, Shame and Paul and Hulk Hogan, uh, Overt. All of these, these are like pretty good entries stacked right on top of each other, on top of Creole. Um, like, that's a really nice corner over there. This opening corner is pretty cool too, NASA and Apex. Uh, like, th there's just nice, like each area of this puzzle is actually pretty nice. Um, with, in terms of like what kind of vocabulary or what kind of references it's bringing. I, I like that. Um, yeah, tacos. I literally just ate tacos two hours ago for dinner. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yep. That is the Monday puzzle. Nut tree was like, for some reason that was tripping me up. That was maybe the most difficult one of the puzzle for me. Cause like nut came to mind immediately. Tree did not. Um, and I saw nut and the T and then I saw nut and the TR and it still like took me a second to get it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining. If you, uh, like this video, please uh, go ahead and give it a like, uh, click the like button and please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I'll be back tomorrow to do the Tuesday puzzle. So I hope to see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.